so when you walk into the front door of my apartment this is basically what you see when you come in so i have kind of like a nice little hallway greeting area um i just keep my most commonly worn shoes over here and then i have three separate closets which are so awesome for storage so i'm just going to briefly show you these because there's not a ton of stuff in here so in this closet i just keep a couple of umbrellas hand sanitizer and then in here i just keep some grocery bags i have another bag up here and then up there i just have hats and some masks that i bought that were accidentally kid sizes so i've just been holding on to them up there and this next closet, this is kind of where I keep my shoes. I don't really have much of a shoe collection, so I keep it really minimal. And then down here, I actually have a couple of these drawers, and I just keep Cleo's clothes and extra leashes in here. I keep her, like, clothes that I don't, I don't really use much in here. Um, so, yeah, this is the second closet. This house, you'll notice, is definitely fit for two people. And then moving on to the next closet... It's kind of like two closets, I guess. Um, so in here, I just keep Cleo's more frequently worn clothing. I'll also put her leash in here. By the way, Cleo is not in this video because she's in Busan at her pet hotel right now. Um, I kept her there while I moved all my stuff out of here. I just have some of her clothes and then my little suitcase fits so perfectly in here. And then up here, I just hang my purses. Got some more bags up there. Over here, I just have some storage boxes with momentum, some cameras, and then I store my two yoga mats here, and behind is a tripod. When I move, I'm going to be getting rid of one of the yoga mats because I don't need two. Okay, so when you walk in, once again, this is what it looks like, and to the left is my bathroom, so I'll show you guys in here. I actually just took a shower, so I have the fan running. I'm going to turn it off, though, for this video, uh, but this is my bathroom, so it's kind of like a marble tile design on the ground it's tile as well it's very very basic a lot of korean bathrooms are complete wet room style which means you'll just have the shower faucet in the corner and no door or anything like that but one of the things that really sold me on this apartment was the fact that there is indeed an actual shower so here's my shower i never got around to getting any kind of like product shelf so i just kept all my stuff on the floor um, and then this is just a towel blanket type of thing that I have brought with me to so many places so I just hang it here it's nice to just wipe my hands on if I'm wanting to wipe them while I'm in the shower and then over here is my proper hands towel I have a medicine cabinet I'll show you guys in here just a bunch of you know typical things you would see in a medicine cabinet I kind of just like to keep my daily stuff in here that I'm always reaching for and it keeps it nice and just, you know, clean and organized and not super, you know, messy. This is my toiletry bag. I just got back from Busan yesterday, so I haven't unloaded this yet. But it's just a nice, easy bag to take with me on the go. And then here is my sink. That's a handmade soap that I made. I love it. I always like to just keep a little candle in my bathroom. And then I have this nice sized mirror okay so let's keep going over here i actually have another closet this is kind of like my cosmetics closet i really am going to miss having all of this storage when i go to my next house but i'm going to show you guys in here so at the bottom is where i keep all of my really big bags that i use for moving they're super convenient. In my opinion, it's way better than having to get a bunch of boxes. Second shelf, I keep my travel bags. I have my big pack of toilet paper. This is my daily makeup bag. I just like to keep it out of sight, kind of hidden away, but it's just right here so I can easily grab it. And then back here is a box that I keep my sunglasses in. On the next shelf, I just have a little handheld mirror. And then back there are some cosmetics that I don't use every day, but I don't want to get rid of it just yet. These are the curtains that came with this apartment that I took down, um, but I want to hold on to them for when I leave to give them back. And then this is just a big old empty box that I've been holding on to because it's really convenient for when you move. On this next shelf, I just have a bunch of random stuff, as you can tell. I'm not going to go through all of it, but it's just stuff that I, I need and I want to keep, but, you know, got to have a place for it. And then on this next shelf is kind of where I keep my hair tools and then these are my vacuum cleaner tools 
Also, typically I have a big old stack of towels in here, but I'm doing laundry right now, so the towels are all in the wash, but usually I'll keep my towels stacked up right here. And then at the top is kind of like my little DIY beauty shop, so I have my gel nail kit and I have my waxing kit. I'm actually getting rid of both of them because I don't use them nearly enough to hold on to them, so tonight actually someone's coming to pick these up. And then in the back I have a fan, super necessary for the hot Korean summers. Okay, so next over here, I love this little area. It's just a simple chair. Is Do you call it like rattan? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I love this chair and I usually will just come in and I'll throw like my bag or a jacket on it. And then if I have company over, it's also nice to have them sit here. Uh, but yeah, really simple little entryway chair. And then over here is my bedroom. I'm going to show you guys the bedroom last though. So let's just keep on going. So you turn around the corner and you have my actual main area of the apartment. So here is my living room, my little dining slash work area, and here is my kitchen. Okay, and then over here, this is where like if someone is down in the lobby or at my door, their picture will come up here when they ring. Here is my um, little floor heating theme of Bob and then my light switches. So Let's start with let's start with the living room because it's my favorite part. So here is my living room. I tried my best to make it as cozy as possible. Comment down below if this was your place, how would you have styled it? Um, but yeah, so starting over here, I just have like a TV console. I am gonna be bringing this to my next house because I love it so much, but I'm not a TV watcher, so I never got a TV to put on it. I just have some random momentum, some candles. I love keeping like a Polaroid book, so. I'll typically just like put all my Polaroid pictures in there if I go on a trip or something. And then I actually painted this little beach picture at a like a painting cafe here in Seoul. And then here's some flowers that my boyfriend gave me and then a little Bluetooth speaker. In these drawers, I keep Cleo's little sensory toys. These are really good for dogs to keep them entertained and they have a lot of fun with them. And then in this one, I keep a blanket and another one of Cleo's sensory toys so these drawers are also really nice for storage okay moving along i have cleo's little toy basket it's so cute whenever she wants to play she'll just run up to it and start you know digging something out of there and then over here is the main living room area so i am so glad i got this white fluffy rug because it really brightens the area up i had kind of like a tannish one before and it kept the area very dark, but I like the bright look a lot more. And then here is a huge full length mirror. I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick up how big this is, but it is definitely bigger like than the average. I mean, like, do you see? This is me right here. You could fit like one, two, three, four, <laughs> four of me in this mirror. So it's really big, but I do like it. It's a lot of fun to have this in here. And then, yeah, here are the nice wraparound windows. This was one of the main selling points from this apartment when I toured here. I was like, wow, these windows are amazing. So I got really lucky to be on the end. And I don't know if you can see in the background, but like you can see a mountain back there. And it's, it's just nice being this high up. And I do have shades, but I never put them down because I just kind of like having them completely up because it adds a lot of uh, light into the house but yeah anyways so I have kind of like this ledge in my living room that I ended up putting some plants on I got a little salt lamp type of thing but yeah here is the sofa I also got this off coupon I love it I really like how it's kind of more of a low sofa there aren't any legs on it and it came with this ottoman. It's super, super cozy in here. The people that are moving into my apartment next are buying this off of me. So I'm glad it's going to still get used. But yeah, I just added a cute little furry um, blanket rug type of thing. And then I have this blanket. I really do love curling up here in the evening. And sometimes I'll put like my floor heater right here and it just makes it really warm. So yeah, this is my living room area. If I was staying here longer, I would definitely be getting some kind of wall art for this wall, but obviously there's just no point in getting that anymore. But yeah, this is the living room. So moving on over here, I kind of turned this into my little eating slash working area. So first of all, I just have, this is Cleo's little resting spot, but I have um, just my cleaning, my vacuum and my little floor mop 
there's not really any other place that I can put this, so I just keep it in the corner. And then I got my YouTube plaque. Love you guys for getting me that. Thank you so much. And then here's a table and chair set. This table was literally like 30,000 won on coupon. And then here is this chair. Really like this as well. But I love it even more with this on it because it makes it so comfortable and cozy. And then over here I just have a couple more things. I do keep usually like a tripod and just some random stuff here for editing just to have it nearby. And then here is a fake little plant that my friend Medi got me as a little housewarming. So cute. And I'm going to be bringing that with me to Busan. And then moving on is my kitchen. So here it is. It's very, very big for a like Korean office tell kitchen in my opinion. The first thing I want to say though is these lights are quite messed up. I didn't realize until I moved in here that they were broken, but it never really bothered me that much because I don't like pay attention to them. Here is my fridge and then I do have quite a lot of pantry space. This is actually broken. It's kind of like a pull out. You see how it's supposed to be? It's got like all these shelves and it's like unfixable. So it's just kind of chilling there. And then here is my actual pantry. Guys, this is super unreal. I have clothes for my friend in here. It's like so big, so I've been using it just as storage. I have some rugs. I have Cleo's stuff. Here is my little food shelf. I've been clearing out my apartment, so I don't have a ton of food left in here. And then I just have more stuff to get rid of up here. So don't mind the pantry, but that's, that's literally what it looks like. And then over here is the actual kitchen itself. La, 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 la. I swear, like, I'm going to miss having so much storage. It's so nice. Um, but I'll just kind of give you guys an idea of what I have in here. Just stuff you would have in any kitchen. Plastic bags, trash bags, food bags. What's in here? Literally, you guys. No prep for this video. Um, up here, do I even have anything? No, I literally don't have anything in here because I don't have enough stuff. How about here? Nope. How about... Nope, nothing in here. Oh, I have some cups and wine glasses. That's nice. And then this is kind of like my tea coffee area. <sighs> Nothing. And then here, I do have stuff in here. It's like spices and cooking stuff. And then over here, today was like a working day for me. So I have my coffee and my latte. Coffee maker, love the Dolce Gusto. Um, but I'm going to be getting rid of this and I'm moving on to a French press after. So I'm actually getting rid of this tonight. A microwave, cutting board. Um, this is my little, like, you know, fork, chopstick, knife area, and then here's my little burner. I need to clean this, don't look at that. And then over here, another reason why I really like this apartment is this clear glass shelving area. Kind of like a china cabinet type of thing, I don't know. Um, and I also really liked the bottle holder, which I did used to have bottles stored in, but because I've started to clean out my apartment now, I took them all out but um yeah and then i also really liked this extension this is really nice to just like chill and hang out with friends i don't know it kind of just reminds me of being in college and then down here i just have more appliances got my air fryer blender pans toaster oven and then under the counter i have a couple of chairs these chairs i'm also saying goodbye to today they were really nice just to have in here i do love mismatched chairs i think it's so fun but someone's coming in to take these today and then i have cleo's little bowl i miss cleo i'm gonna see her in a few days though okay and then moving on to the last part of the tour which is my bedroom so it is freezing today which is why I have my long padding just hung up. There's not really any other place for it, so I usually just have it on here. But anyways, when you walk in, this is what you see. So I got really, really lucky with having my own separate bedroom because I know that's kind of a luxury if you're living alone in Seoul, especially. Um, but this is what you see. Okay, so the blue bag, <laughs> that's typically not there, but because I'm doing a ton of laundry today, I have to do a couple different loads. So I put all the other stuff in that blue bag, so don't mind that. And then the laundry is still drying. I feel like typically, in if you're living in Korea, you'll usually have stuff drying because we don't have dryers for the most part here. So everyone uses a drying rack like that. That's what that is, and that's what that is. Um, but okay, let's start over here. So I have just a electronics area, both of these boxes. I keep electronics in laptop case. That's a bag of products that I need to do a video on soon So I just have it chilling there and then here are my clothing closets. So 
let's start with this one this is just like my closet with my um t-shirts and like well it's winter so it's mostly just sweaters i keep my bras socks panties all that kind of stuff right here and then i have some winter scarves and hats just chilling right here this is a drawer that you're supposed to use for hanging pants but i actually use it for bras so that's what that is i have my big suitcase and my jeans folded up down there so it's very simple but as i said this house would totally be cool for two people there's plenty of storage and then in this closet i keep my winter jackets so i have those all up there and then down here are my workout slash lounge wear clothing and then if you turn around you have my bed and my side table area pretty self-explanatory i keep my serum next to my bed because i have this thing where i love putting serum on while laying down i know it's weird just <laughs> trust me it's it's a lot of fun got my water down there for when i'm sleeping and here is my bed area my linens if you're wondering are from h&m they're super cozy i feel like i'm at a hotel and then here is my window area i'm obsessed with the light uh sheer curtains they make this room feel like very i don't know just like very airy and flowy i really like it and then i have just a little decoration going on over there and then here are those clothes drying and over here is my little space heater i will say the only thing i don't like about this apartment is the dust situation my apartment collects dust very frequently it's kind of scary like i will vacuum at night and by the next morning there will be dust balls and i don't understand how that works um but yeah we'll see i don't think i wonder if my next apartment is going to be like that but yeah if you guys see random bits of dust i swear i just vacuumed like 10 minutes but yeah that is my bedroom it's very very simple if i was staying here longer i would have definitely you know hung up some wall art maybe gotten some kind of vanity but obviously there's no point in doing that if this was your bedroom though how would you style it where would you put the bed what would you get for it let me know but yeah that is the end of my apartment tour so as you can tell i kept the space very simple i only moved here two months ago so i had already decluttered a lot which is why i don't have a whole lot of stuff but i really do feel better and like living like that a lot more but yeah this is it i'm gonna miss this little winter abode <laughs>